Morning everyone, guided reading, 25th of February. Of course, we are marking and improving our answers, okay? Make sure you've got a blue or contrasting color to improve your answers with, as well as a pink or another color to mark your answers, those that you got right. Okay, let's go. So here are the questions. Let's go through them quickly, quick read. Please. How many bonus leaves are estimated to be in the world in 2014? Number one. Number two, which of those statements are true or false? Tick them. Number three, which word matches words matches word plantation as a definition? Number four is a summarizing. Write a sentence out what the second paragraph is all about. Number five, finding out whether the writer has got an opinion about modern slavery. Number six, why do you think the writer uses a question mark in the title? And number seven, is the text formal or informal in style and give a reason. Okay, there we go. Don't forget, of course, there's a question of your own that you should have written and answered yourself. Now, questions one and two. Question one, fairly straightforward. There were 40 million modern day slaves estimated to be in the world in 2014. One mark for that. On to question two. Okay, true or false, two marks for all four, one mark for just the three of them. So here we go. Reasons for modern slavery, true or false. Poor people are trafficked to other areas, that's true. War and famine cause people to move, that's true. People sell themselves to others willingly. Well, nobody does that, that's false. And they like to work for no money in poor conditions. I don't think anyone would like to do that either. That's false also, even though it happens. Questions three, four and five. Question three, plantations are estates where coffee, sugar, tobacco are grown. One mark for that answer. Nothing else, that's what they are. Question four, now your summary, that depends on what you write, but this is what I wrote. The second paragraph explains what modern slavery looks like and how people become slaves. Two things, what it looks like and how it happens to people. Those are two main points about that paragraph, okay? Question five. It is true that the writer has an opinion about slavery because they say the organisation that fighting slavery deserve our support. That's an opinion. They deserve our support. I think they should be supported. So one mark for saying that they're true and one mark for giving that reason. Okay. Question six and seven. Now the writer uses a question mark in the title for these reasons. Now any one of these will count. First of all, that it isn't true that slavery is gone, it's still with us. They want to challenge us, they want to think, want us to think about it. And they want us to read on to find out more. So any of those three reasons will give you a mark. Okay? Question seven. The text actually is informal in style. The writer, because this is because the writer speaks directly to the reader and uses apostrophes for mission in words like doesn't. So they're quite common, quite colloquial in the way they're speaking. They want to engage you with the text. So that point is quite informal, even though the information might not seem that that is the case. Okay, so here's our success criteria. Fairly straightforward. If you got all the questions correct, that's three ticks next to the yellow. If you got one or two incorrect, that's two ticks. And if you got more than two incorrect, I'm afraid that's one tick. Make sure that you've improved your answers in a contrasting color and that you've ticked the ones that you got correct. Okay, there we go. Go back and improve with a blue or a different colored pencil.